We have a doctor who writes an order for ketamine infusion IV to be run at three milligrams per kilogram per hour. The patient weighs 167.2 pounds. The pharmacy stocks a bag of 1,000 milligrams per 100 ml in NS. How much milliliters per hour should the infusion run at? First, we have to convert the pounds to kilograms because the dose is in kilograms. 167.2 pounds divided by 2.2 is equal to 76 kilograms. And now we're going to set up the ratio. If 3 milligrams per 1 kilogram then you're gonna have X milligram per 76 kilogram. Cross multiply 76 kilograms times three milligrams <laughs> divided by one is equal to 228 milligrams. The stock solution the pharmacy has of ketamine is 1000 milligrams per 100 ml equals to 228 milligrams over X ml milliliters cross multiply x is equal to 228 milligrams times 100 ml divided by 1000 is equal to work it out in your calculator and you're going to get the answer of 222.8 milliliters per hour 22.8 milliliters per hour if if you like the video please like and subscribe Next, we're gonna do this in uh, dimensional analysis is the next uh, calculation we're gonna do this in. So 76 kilograms over one times. We have the three milligrams per kilogram, so you want the units to cancel out. So we're gonna put the kilograms on the bottom. So three milligrams over one kilogram times. So we're gonna look at the stock solution. So again, we want the units to cancel out. The thousand has to go on the bottom a thousand milligrams. So it's gonna be a hundred milliliters over a thousand milligrams. And now we're gonna multiply 76 times three times 100. Work it out on your calculator. I'll give you, and the answer is gonna be 22,800 over, and then you're gonna multiply the bottom, which is one times a thousand is a thousand. So 22,800 divided by a thousand is 22.8 milliliters per hour. Now you're gonna cancel out the units and you'll see you're left with milliliters per hour. You cancel the kilograms with the kilograms. You cancel the milligrams with the milligrams. And you're left with milliliters. And then we know this is per hour. So you're gonna say 22.8 milliliters per hour and that's the answer. Thank you very much and have a good night.